Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we are going to take a look at and see what went through your person's mind here and what did they feel the last time that they saw you, the last time that they laid eyes on you. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, uh, take a moment. Really focus your energy, your attention here on your special person. Pause this video if you have to. And let's go ahead and see what is it that they felt Okay, what went through their mind? What did they feel the last time that they saw you? Those two cards just came flying out before I even had a chance to shuffle. Okay, you've got a few major arcana cards here okay which bring in powerful messages on their own um temperance here okay i feel like your person is waiting for something okay it feels like they're it's like they're waiting to they definitely want to open up and share something with you here okay uh it's, they definitely want to tell you how they feel, tell you how you make them feel, okay, tell you some of the racy thoughts that they had when they're with you or when they're around you, but it's almost like they're waiting for that time to do that, okay, they're waiting for the perfect timing, they're waiting for the right set of circumstances, they're waiting for the right moment, they're waiting maybe like a green light from yourself, it's to me, it feels like it's an energy of waiting here, they could also be waiting for you to make a move, maybe your person is a little bit shy, maybe they're a little bit scared, maybe they're questioning, it's almost like your language here is a little bit unspoken, you guys communicate with your eyes, okay, there's quite an intensity to the emotions here, there's a very strong chemistry a very strong attraction i feel like your person is very attracted to you sexually but there's just so much more your person wants to consume you they want to get to know you they're they're in awe of you and who you are but it feels like it feels like they can't get too close to you maybe if they've never been with anyone as attractive as you maybe a part of them feels like you're too good for them you're out of their league and you know maybe they've never had anyone as attractive as you as a partner okay Something tells me that your person is a little bit cautious here. They're being a little bit careful for now, okay? Because you've got the full card and I feel like there is going to be a moment, if you haven't shared this with your person just yet, there's going to be a moment where I feel like your person is going to cast aside the consequences of making a move. Because I feel like, why is it that they're waiting, right? What is it that they're waiting for? They're waiting for something because they don't feel like it's the right time. They don't feel like they're ready to make a move. Maybe it's a professional setting that you're involved with in this person and they don't want to cross any boundaries or they're scared to jeopardize their reputation or your reputation here. So they're evidently waiting for something, okay? And it feels like it's going to get to the point where, especially with the Ten of Cups here, that build up. Every time you see each other, your person feels more and more for you. You do too. I feel like there's a reciprocation here. I feel like this is mutual. I feel like... Whatever it is that you're feeling, that attraction, that intensity, and even if you're questioning that, your person is mirroring that. I feel like your person is also a little bit unsure, okay? They think, okay, well, you know, what if it's in their mind? Is this really real or is it imagined? So they have all the same questions that you have swirling around in their mind. And to me, it feels like they're either waiting for a green light. So if that's the case, maybe you need to be a little bit more flirtatious with your person maybe you need to you know maybe you're someone who's a little bit guarded you're a little bit closed off if you can be um if you can try be a little bit more conscious of your body language next time you're around this person okay make sure your body language indicates that you're open and receptive to the, to their energy of course if you are right um and not necessarily closed off so if you're aware of you know these little things which in actuality aren't so little because they communicate your attraction or they communicate, you know, um, whether or not you, you, you know, whether or not you're interested in this person. So I feel like 
your person is wanting for a sign of some sort and if you give can give them a green light if you're already being if you're already offering up hints but you're really subtle maybe it's time to drop the subtlety and maybe it's time to be a little bit more brave a little bit more courageous a little bit more bold with your moves or with the signs or with the green light here right because i feel like your person is struggling picking up the subtleties especially if you're a female listening to this and this person is a male that you're crushing on males don't they don't really do subtlety so see if you can be a little bit more you know a little bit more out there less subtle and more so that this person is able to get the hint um, the other thing is this person loves being around you okay they love talking to you they love your personality they love looking at you they love the way that you smell they love the way that you style your hair they love the clothes that you wear they love the way that you express yourself the, the way the way that you communicate here the opinions and the beliefs you hold this person is absolutely in awe of you from head to toe okay but that kind of works against you because i feel like they're crushing on you so much and they're so interested in you that it's almost like they're intimidated by your beauty, by your intelligence, by the way that you carry yourself. So it's a good thing, but it's also what keeps them at a distance because this person feels like you're quite a catch and you're too good to be true. They feel like you're a wish come true. They also feel like, and I don't know if this is due to the conversations that you have or due to the fact that this person is really able to see your personality, but they really feel like you are someone who is very caring, very kind and would one day if if you're not already would make a very loving parent okay they see that you would some you would be someone who would make a loving partner someone who would provide them with a lot of loyalty and stability this person may be involved with someone else or may be scared to cross some sort of boundaries okay so i to me the word boundaries is coming up now it can be what that can mean is they may be involved with someone or you're involved in a relationship with someone but hey you know the heart wants what it wants, right? Um, boundaries could also mean that this person is in a workplace environment, okay? And this is a professional setting we're talking about, or they're a client, or you're their client. And, you know, there's those professional boundaries that they don't want to overstep. So boundaries is a key word coming up in this reading here. So I don't necessarily know how it extends to you personally, or maybe you're the one that's scared to cross boundaries, whatever they, that may be for you. But I feel like what's keeping your person at a distance and what's kind of keeping the two of you at a distance from one another, because you both want each other. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. You are both lusting for one another. You're both really attracted to one another. That chemistry, when you're in a room together, you're not the only two that notice it. Mm -mm. There are a whole bunch of people who are able to pick up on that energy why because it's electrifying it's electrifying it's not in your head if some of you are questioning whether you're making you know whether this you're making this up or whether you you're only feeling this because it's something that you want to feel it's real it is not made up your person feels that too but it's almost like you're not acting on it they're not acting on it and so it just exists but i do feel like it's going to get to a point where each time you see this person or the more and more that you flirt with one another, it's just more of a build-up. And what happens to a build-up? We get a culmination. So something's got to give here because I feel like eventually, I do feel like someone is going to make a move here. Whether it's you making a move and them reciprocating or whether it's them making a move. But I see you reciprocating and suddenly all these boundaries, whatever those were, go out the window. You're both manifesting this. You have both manifested each other. Your person is in disbelief at the fact that you have just sort of waltzed into their life. What they say to themselves is, where did this person come from? Where did you come from? Because you are absolutely everything that they want in a partner. You are someone that they see themselves settling down with. You are someone that they see themselves in a loving, committed relationship with. And even if they're with someone else, and, and this is sad, it's sad for me to you know, tell you this, but they could be with someone else. But when they're with someone else, they're thinking about you. Or is this you? Is it that when you're with someone else, you're thinking about them? It just feels like the two of you have each other on them, on your mind a lot. And you know what? It feels like whatever the circumstance, whatever the circumstance is going on here, it doesn't matter. Because everything's going to work out. I feel like everything is just going to manifest. You're the universe or you are going to have to fill in the blanks. 
but the cards here are clearly indicative that the two of you are manifesting each other. You've manifested, you know, each other into your lives here. Because when you think about it, who is this person? They kind of came out of nowhere, right? They just waltzed into your life unexpectedly, and one day you just came into their life through, you know, you just walked in through those doors, and all of a sudden, bam, there you have it. So it just feels so intense. It feels real, it feels raw, and this is someone who is patiently waiting for the day that everything just sort of falls into place. And it will, it will. So I don't want you to get discouraged because I know your circumstances might not be ideal with this person, and I know that despite the attraction that you feel for each other, despite that fire and that, you know, that energy of lust, and despite those boundaries that stand in your way, they'll topple over. Because when two people want each other so badly as badly as the two of you do here you'll find a way okay i'm and i'm not encouraging anyone be um you know disrespectful about the situation but it just feels like something here is going to work itself out in the end okay it will because the both of you are manifesting each other and the both of you are a manifestation of each other's dreams here so wow this person has shown up in your life out of nowhere and I feel like it's only a matter of time before you find themselves in this idyllic ten of cups scene with this person. And I know it may feel like, okay, well, how is that going to happen because the two of you barely know each other. But let me tell you, you guys have just gravitated towards one another and what the two of you have is very rare. Okay, and something like this, it, it just, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen... It's like fireworks light up the sky. This is some this is some beautiful stuff, you guys. Alright, and these are your messages. So thanks for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.